Good evening, folks. It's Gaiman with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing a, you a Kumbre via La Palma volcano update in spectacular fashion. Monday, October 4th, 9 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. And we're looking at the volcano live. Spectacular Strombolian activity happening from a single main vent. And we'll get to that. Let's go through the update. La Palma volcano eruption yesterday. The update claimed voluminous lava flows invading the cone's flanks as the crater area partially collapsed. The western flank broke down there, and it seems, well, that the vents are merging into one. And luckily, Spain's prime minister today says that La Palma will be rebuilt as the lava flows continue. Beautiful. Now, the most recent volcanic ash advisory coming from Vak to Luis warning that the ongoing ash is now still to 10,000 feet and the aviation color code, folks, down here. Wait for it. Yes. Still red. Now, the most recent update coming from Volcano Discovery just moments ago, strong ash emissions in the field report. And let's break it through. Look at the ash during the daytime here. During most of the day today, October 4th, the volcano produced dense ash columns that rose two to three kilometers. They drifted south or southwest, sparring the El Paso area this time. Lava flows continued to advance a bit both at the sea entry and, the widen and widening some of the margins of existing flows, which is putting more buildings at risk. At the growing cone, activity remained intense. The summit vents seem to have more or less merged into one main vent in the central depression of the cone. We just showed you that at the opening. Probably as a consequence of the partial collapse yesterday of the western flank of the caldera. And we're producing pulsating lava fountains all day. The fountains were still tall but slightly less vigorous and more pulsating in nature compared to previous days. However, seismicity has increased, and we will get to that. Now, the lower vents at the cone, including the separated effusive vent north of the cone, are no longer seen to be as active as before or have even stopped, and they look stopped now. Visible lava flow activity on the slopes of the cone was nearly absent, and further down slopes seem to have de decreased at about 9 p.m., and we can see that here on the live stream. There's almost no visible lava rivers right around this Strombolian activity. And we'll come back to that as we move forward here. Now, <clears throat> what we should be worried about here is a very obvious pattern here in the last one, two, three days. Three days ago, there was a seismic swarm at depth between 10 and 15 kilometers. Yesterday, that slightly died off. But in the last 24 to 30 hours, the amount of seismic activity between 15 or even 18 and 10 kilometers has been increasing drastically. This is a seismic swarm at the higher magnitude, which is indicative of more magma filling at depth here or some other activity about to happen. There's no way to predict it. But the earthquakes today, the latest earthquakes near La Palma, let's just do the 24 hour so we can get the latest information from you and then we're going to come over and look at let's look at it right now here is the current seismic tremor in the beginning it was quite high and uh variable and then in the last few days it's been less variable but you can see here in the last 24 hours seismic tremor has been increasing Now, here we are at the earthquakes on the last 24 hours at La Palma, hours and powers. During the past 24 hours, La Palma was shaken by 30 quakes of magnitude 3 or above. This is a huge uptick and should get some people, well, a little worried, in my opinion. That is a massive amount of three magnitude quakes. It could result in a larger magnitude quake or, um, well... We're going to keep a close eye on it. That's all I can say. And there have been 60 quakes between 2 and 3 magnitude. So definitely an increase in seismicity. Very little uptick in seismic tremor. And that has to do with um, the eruption itself. Now, if we come over here and look at the 15-day histogram of seismicity, 
there is a massive increase and you can literally see it here. There was a little pulse and it went down in another pump, but a big pump in the last 24 hours. Here's the beginning of the eruption. And here you can see there's another uptick happening. So it's anyone's guess what that means. There could be another eruption building that may happen up at the ridge crest, but it's all speculation at this point. And let's take a look live over at the volcano. So with the amount of increased seismicity at depth and the fact that the effusive lava is no longer flowing, in my opinion, what that means is that that lava is building back up in depth and will be coming to the surface very shortly. And a whole nother sequence of lava flows will commence. And so the, this Strombolian activity will become more and more lava filled until more cracks form here because the breakdown of the caldera might have clogged off some of the vents. And what we're going to need is some of the pressure to build before we see more of that lava flowing. But based on all the telemetry, all the geologic data, the telemeters, the seismographs, the tremor that they're showing there in the top right, everything that's going on uh, would indicate that this eruption is far, far from over. That means it's far from over. Now, we do have some amazing footage coming from Twitter today. And this is a flyby of a drone directly at the overflowing lava into the sea. Wait till you see this. Absolutely fantastic. Wait for it. It is some of the most spectacular footage I've seen in a while. Look at that. I just wish it was in higher res. And there we go. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to the dopest show in science. On the internet, the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Via Magnetic Reversal News, our backup channel. And here you can see one, two places at least where the lava flows are now, well, flowing. And let's just back that up as it comes clear here. You can at least see that one drop down, two drop downs, and the formation of new La Palma. Catastrophic geology live reported on within 24 hours at Magnetic Reversal News. The news you need to know. And the no, you need to use it. Fantastic. So we are going to leave you, as always, links to all of this coverage. And we're going to finish up tonight by discussing the weather pattern that Bushcraft Bear was the first to report on before the mainstream picked it up and they bit it right off of him and they bit it right off of us. I reported on the weather anomaly above the eruption. Now, this is caused by ionized gases coming out of the volcano and making a circular plume pushing away the current weather systems. It makes its own ionizing pattern, which is in concentric rings, as the volcano changes and outputs, and that makes circular cloud patterns based on the ionization of the volcanic output. This is not a gravity wave. I've seen some of the most ludicrous headlines. People have sent me dozens of videos of this being a gravity wave, which by the way is a hypothesis and has, well, it's a fairy tale, like a black hole, like a flat earth, like a pink elephant. Get it? What's real is that Cumbre Vieja is erupting. And we're reporting on it, giving you the real science, not the fairy tale English or the salacious headline that sells books. We are giving you the facts right in your face. Boom time style. And here you can see the position of the effusive vent. Currently, one main vent and the lava flows coming in two directions, which are now cascading off in two places here off of this portion of La Palma, basically the center of the island on the western front. Here is the newest Copernicus data showing you that. And the other update, we gave you the link to Copernicus. I might even link it below tonight if I could find it. <laughs> so, 
Hope you got something out of the video, guys. And that's a boom to knowledge and science. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. When we're trying to get to the bottom of it, well, you guys are the students of the class. Mainstream media can kiss my ass. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors, our Patreons. We love you. Consider becoming a Patreon and support the channel if you like the work we're doing. And we'll see you as soon as necessary. That's boom. <laughs>